I can't stop coming back to play this game. There's something poetic about the definition of insanity and its relationship with the Rust community. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. The duality of Rust is chaos and order. Don't you do it. I'm not. Hey, you're good. You're okay. good. I'm not. Appreciate you. You fucker! Right. I knew it! I knew it! Humanity attempting to control their environment unwittingly and unknowingly, building others up just to break them down. There's Killed another me. one. There's three oh. of them. Killed you. Shit on! Holy shit! How's your oh, shit. Album, by the way? Not very good. Suck. Ooh, spicy boy. The emotional toll that this game has taken on my psyche could be compared to China White, Skag, Dope, Horse. You guessed it. I'm talking about black tar heroin. There are 903,659 positive reviews for Rust on Steam. And according to the National Center for Drug Abuse Statistics, 902,000 Americans use heroin annually. Annually. Annually? Annually. Annually, annually. Now, I know it might seem that I'm making a direct comparison between the amount of people that do heroin in the United States and the amount of people that play Rust. Following audio is for clarification purposes only and should not be reused or redistributed. Viewer discretion advised. Mr. DVBI. <laughs> I, can't. Bro, I got my ball sack out right now, bro. Tickling my taint hairs. Booty hole pink. Stinking. Butthole out, dude. Hanging out in the wind. Ball sack. Limp. 16 days, bro. I've been marinating. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Like yo cheese. From Diddlyumptious. Did somebody say cheese? Hey Chungus, you wanna see my cheese? I don't I don't know how to respond to that. If I ran into nine hundred and three thousand people in Rust and 902,000 of them were gassed up on that birdie powder, that passes the sniff check. Because these guys are feral. Alright, things are getting weird, get me out of here! What if we all gave you our cheese? Yeah, I don't think you're going anywhere, buddy. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You can't run, buddy! I'll uh... find you! Now this isn't a review, but if you're gonna play the game, and I really think you should, in the same way that I think everyone should work in the service industry at some point in their life, be aware that your tiny, itty-bitty worldview is about to change. You need to grow up, and fast, because you're about to experience everything that humankind has to offer you. I can't see out the window. Well, everything if you live in these hotspots for heroin in the United States, I guess. You or a loved one have been affected by this addiction, remember these facts. They are going to keep doing it. It's not their fault. It's just genetics. Try to support them in their time of need. Cook them a meal or offer clean clothes. Don't face the problem alone. Try to bring others down with you. Prepare for the inevitable OD and the fallout that comes from losing everything you worked 48 hours straight building. Ride a bicycle to help. No, but seriously, reading all this stuff about heroin has really got me in my feelings for the people that suffer with this. If you or a loved one struggles with this, first off, I'm sorry. Secondly, this seems like the best consensus place to find help. Peace.